A December 22 New York Times article, Arrests, Beatings and Secret Prayers, Inside the Persecution of India's Christians, conveniently ignores key information while creating a misleading narrative. Point. The United States Commission on International Religious Freedom, a government body, recommended that India be put on its red list for severe violations of religious freedom, a charge the Modi administration strongly denied. Counterpoint. A recent report by Times Now raises questions about the stand taken by the United States Commission on International Religious Freedom, Ashraf. Indian American Muslim Council. IAMC, managed to influence the Ashraf through Commissioner Nadine Maenza, with the help of U.S. lobbying firm Fidelis Government Relations, FGR, the Times Now report says. According to a report by Disinfolab, the report is a result of a planned lobbying effort to influence Ashraf by the U.S. Islamic Circle of North America and its fronts like the Islamic Circle of North America, ICNA. Point. Anti-Christian vigilantes are sweeping through villages, storming churches, burning Christian literature, attacking schools and assaulting worshippers. Counterpoint. The article tries to unnecessarily sensationalize the issue. Incidents challenging law and order are investigated in accordance with the law of the land. Police have registered cases where such attacks have been reported. For example, the Uttarakhand police booked 200 people in connection with the vandalism at a Christian prayer house in Warki in October this year. Point. In church after church, the very act of worship has become dangerous despite constitutional protections for freedom of religion. Counterpoint. The findings of a survey conducted by the Pew Research Center in June this year are clear. The survey says, Indians are united in the view that respecting other religions is a very important part of what it means to be a member of their own religious community. More than 70 years after India became free from colonial rule, Indians generally feel their country has lived up to one of its post-independence ideals, a society where followers of many religions can live and practice freely, 